All right, let's dive right into the wonderful world of ladybugs and their fascinating life cycle. Now, when most of us think about ladybugs, we picture these small, cute, red beetles with black spots. But did you know there is so much more to these little creatures than meets the eye? <laughs> well, buckle up, because we're about to explore the intriguing biological characteristics of ladybugs and their life cycle. First things first, ladybugs aren't actually bugs at all. They're beetles, belonging to the family Coccinellidae. The term ladybug is typically used in North America, while ladybird is the preferred term in the UK. There are around 5,000 different species of these beetles worldwide, and not all of them are red with black spots. Some are yellow, orange, or even all black. The life cycle of a ladybug is similar to that of a butterfly. It undergoes a process known as complete metamorphosis. This life cycle consists of four stages, egg, larva, pupa, and adult. The journey begins when a female ladybug lays her eggs, typically on the underside of a leaf. After a few days, the eggs hatch into larvae, tiny spiky creatures that might not even look like ladybugs at first. But don't be fooled. These little guys are voracious eaters, and their main diet consists of aphids, a common garden pest. After a couple of weeks of constant feeding, the larvae will attach themselves to a leaf or a sim and enter the pupa stage. This is where the magic happens. And the pupa looks like a tiny, motionless blob, but inside, that larva is transforming into an adult ladybug. And after about a week, an adult ladybug emerges from the pupa, but it's not the familiar red and black just yet. Initially, they are yellow and soft, but within hours, their shells harden and darken, revealing the distinctive color and pattern we all recognize. So there you have it, the intriguing biological characteristics and life cycle of ladybugs from egg to adult, ladybugs experience quite the transformation. <laughs> and remember, each stage of this life cycle plays an essential role in our garden's ecosystem, which we'll explore further in the next sections. Let's shift gears and delve into the fascinating role of ladybugs in maintaining a healthy garden ecosystem. These tiny creatures play an essential role in natural pest control that is often overlooked. And hey, who doesn't love a natural solution to pest problems, right? Ladybugs, especially their larvae, are voracious eaters. They have a strong appetite for plant-destroying pests, particularly aphids, but also mealybugs, scale insects, and mites. Aphids if left unchecked, can cause serious damage to your plants by sucking the sap out of them. But here's where our little red heroes come in. A single ladybug can consume up to 5,000 aphids in its lifetime. Proceed. That's a lot of pest control packed into such a small package. Also, they tend to lay their eggs where aphid colonies are present ensuring their larvae have plenty to eat right when they hatch. This is nature's way of keeping the pest population in check. But the essential role of ladybugs doesn't end there. By controlling the populations of these pests, ladybugs indirectly help in the pollination of plants. You see, many plants rely on insects to help them pollinate, when a plant is infested with pests like aphids, fewer beneficial insects like bees may visit the plant. But with ladybugs keeping the pest population down, these beneficial insects can do their job more effectively. And let's not forget, ladybugs also serve as a food source for other creatures, contributing to the biodiversity and balance in the garden ecosystem. Birds, frogs, spiders, 
and even other insects may feed on ladybugs. So, in a nutshell, ladybugs are like the superheroes of your garden, battling pests, helping with pollination, and contributing to the ecosystem's balance. They indeed are the garden's little friends. <laughs> in the next section, we'll delve deeper into the types of pests that ladybugs control and how they do it. So stay tuned. Now that we've established the critical role ladybugs play in our gardens, let's get into the nitty-gritty of the types of pests they help control and how they do it. Trust me, it's going to be an eye-opener. <laughs> The primary diet of ladybugs consists of soft-bodied insects, particularly aphids, which are their favorite. Aphids are tiny insects that suck the juices out of plants, causing them to wilt and die. But thanks to our little dotted friends, aphids are kept in check. A single ladybug can consume up to 50 aphids a day and over 5,000 in its lifetime. But aphids aren't the only pests on the ladybug's menu. They also have an appetite for scale insects, mites, and even small caterpillars. Scale insects are another type of pest that sucks sap from plants, while mites can cause a variety of plant diseases. As for caterpillars, well, we all know how they love munching on our plants' leaves. Ladybugs have unique ways of hunting their prey. They use their antenna to touch, taste, and smell their surroundings in search of food. Once they locate their prey, they use their strong mandibles to grab and devour them. And remember the larvae we talked about earlier? Well, they're even more ravenous than the adults. But how do ladybugs find these pests? Well, they've got a pretty neat trick up their sleeve. They can actually sense the chemicals that plants release when they're under attack from pests like aphids. This signal works like a dinner bell for ladybugs signaling them that a feast is ready. So in essence, ladybugs are like the pest control agents of your garden. They help keep these harmful pests under control, ensuring your plants stay healthy and thriving. In the next section, we'll talk about how you can recognize signs of a healthy ladybug population and how to attract them to your garden. Stay tuned. All right, now that we've learned about the beneficial role of ladybugs in your garden, you're probably wondering how to recognize a healthy ladybug population and how to attract more of them to your garden. Let's dive into that, shall we? <laughs> Recognizing a healthy ladybug population isn't just about seeing lots of these little beetles around. It's also about seeing different stages of their life cycle. Remember, ladybugs go through the egg. Larva pupa, and adult stages. So spotting any of these stages in your garden is a good sign. You'll often find ladybug eggs on the underside of leaves, especially near aphid colonies. The eggs are tiny, yellowish, and oval shaped, typically laid in clusters. Ladybug larvae look like tiny black alligators with orange spots. So if you see these little critters, don't panic, they're not pests. They're future pest controllers. Now, you might also want to pay attention to your pest populations. If they're low, particularly aphids, it's a good indication that ladybugs are doing their job. But how can you attract more ladybugs to your garden? Here are a few tips. Firstly, ladybugs are attracted to certain types of plants. These include dill, fennel, cilantro, caraway, yarrow, and geranium, to name a few. So consider adding these to your garden. Secondly, ladybugs, like all creatures, need water. So providing a small shallow dish or bowl with some pebbles and water can be a big draw. The pebbles provide landing spots so the ladybugs don't drown. Lastly, avoid using pesticides. Pesticide 
Many pesticides will kill beneficial insects, like ladybugs, along with the pests. Instead, consider organic and natural pest control methods. So there you have it. With these tips, you'll be well on your way to building a healthy ladybug population in your garden. <laughs> in our final section, we'll discuss potential threats to ladybugs and how our garden practices can either harm or support their survival. Stay tuned. We've covered so much about ladybugs, their life cycle, and their vital role in our gardens. But now, it's time to discuss something equally important, the potential threats to ladybugs and how our garden practices can either harm or support their survival. Firstly, the use of pesticides is a major threat to ladybugs. While these chemicals may kill off pests, they also harm beneficial insects like ladybugs. This not only disrupts the balance in your garden, but can also lead to a resurgence of pests as their natural predators are wiped out. So it's crucial to consider natural and organic pest control methods instead of reaching for the chemical sprays. Secondly, habitat loss is another serious threat to ladybugs. Urban development and changes in land use can reduce the availability of suitable habitats for ladybugs. So, providing a diverse and welcoming garden environment can help support their populations. This means having a variety of plants and, if possible, leaving some areas undisturbed for ladybugs to overwinter. Lastly, the introduction of non-native ladybug species can also pose a threat. For example, the Asian lady beetle, which was introduced to North America to control pests, has become a serious competitor for native ladybug species, sometimes even preying on them. So what can we do to support ladybug survival in our gardens? Well, as mentioned before, planting ladybug-friendly plants, providing a water source, and avoiding harmful pesticides are great places to start. You can also consider creating ladybug houses or hibernation spots in your garden. These are often simple wooden structures with small holes or crevices for ladybugs to crawl into and take shelter. In a nutshell, our garden practices can significantly impact the survival of ladybugs. By creating a friendly environment for these beneficial beetles, we're not only supporting their survival, but also promoting a healthy and balanced garden ecosystem. <laughs> and with that, we've covered all the key points about ladybugs, a garden's friend. I hope you found this information useful and that it sparked a newfound appreciation for these hardworking little creatures.